This chair is quite expensive. It is more than a thousand pounds. Hey guys, what's happening? What's going on? How are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. Today we have an exciting video, but if you haven't done so already, subscribe down below and also leave a comment towards the end. So let's get the load done of this video. Currently, I'm sitting on an IKEA stool because I have no office chair right now and I haven't had an office chair in maybe two weeks, which isn't great. It's not great for your posture. It's not great for your back. A few weeks ago, I decided that I wanted to buy a Herman Miller chair. Previous to thinking about buying a Herman Miller chair, I had this Ikea chair, which you've obviously seen in this video. I've even seen my previous desk setup. So when I actually moved into this flat, I actually bought a High Capisco. If you've never heard of High Capisco, you've definitely seen it before. Joe Rogan uses it in his podcast and they're really common in the creative world. The chair is actually very nice for active seating. If you're a sit and stand desk, it's very good and it's good for working. So it allows you to move around the chair. You're not stagnant it in one position all the time. However, for me, I'm working around my desk setup at the minute and trying to figure out what I want. And I've been mixing things around every so often and trying to get it right. But one of the things was I wanted a chair I could lounge in, right? A chair that I could work in, that's great, but also a chair that I could maybe sit back, relax, watch a few YouTube videos, watch something online. So before I open this box here and show you the chair I got, which actually the title might give it away, a couple of weeks ago, I went to the Herman Miller shop in London. It's a showroom, so there's an opportunity to go try out all the chairs that they have in their collection and figure out what you like and what you don't like. They actually suggested you should maybe get the Aeron in a size C. I did try a couple of ones that were slightly cheaper, but they didn't feel as good when I sat in it. So I landed on a size C Herman Miller Aeron, but I went for the gaming version, which is literally all black. Some of the graphite and other versions, there's just different tones of colors, but this one, it's all black. The box, <laughs> the box is actually so big, but don't worry, the delivery driver actually said to me, do you want me to open it now and take the box away for you? And a part of me was thinking, yes, that would be great because it, it causes less hassle. But also, I want to film a video, right? I want to film a video to open the box. And how can we open the box if we don't have the box to open it with? We're going to open it right now. I'm so excited. Very, very excited. Let's grab some scissors and open this bad boy. This is a lot of recycling. It is a very nice box, so to be fair. Okay, a couple of hours have actually passed since I unboxed this. I actually had to head out this morning for a meeting and now I'm back and I've been sitting on this for the past couple of hours. And you know what? It's almost like I don't recognize myself. It's so comfortable compared to the other chairs I've had before. I think what I like about this, it's got a breathable mesh in the back and at the bottom. So I feel everything is kind of like cushioned in almost as if you're like sitting on a hammock. Everything kind of like molds in and conforms to your body. And what is quite good is there's a lot of different adjustments. So my armrest can be adjusted. I know this chair, right? 14 days refund policy. So if I sit in this for the next 14 days, and I don't love it, I can always refund it. This chair is quite expensive. It is more than a thousand pounds here in the UK, but if you break it down in 12 years because you're covered by the warranty, it's not that bad. It's 100% an investment for the future. You know what? Even if I keep this chair for five years or a couple of years and then I sell it on, the resale value stays quite well on these chairs. They are very popular, so even a used one will still cost you around 400, 500 pounds. So. Um, I'm hoping this will last very long for me. Okay, that wraps up my video. I might come back again in the future. So let's say after my two week period, give it another two weeks. So I've sat in for four weeks to give you some sort of feedback on it. I might include that feedback in the new desk setup video when I've sorted everything out that I want. So there are a few things I'm trying to figure out in my desk setup, for example, monitor arms, monitors themselves, and also like a microphone setup for um, online calls. That and the chair, chair is done. Just need bits of the desk to be finished and we are good and going. Full disclosure though, I have bought this myself. Yes, I spent that much money, but hopefully it's investing into the future, investing into my body, investing into my posture. Um, that is super important right now, especially if we're working quite a lot 
and from home. The more relaxed I can be at home, the more comfortable I can be, the more productive I can be. That's my thinking. Anyways, I hope you guys had an awesome day. No matter what you're getting up to, if you haven't subscribed already, go subscribe, thumb below, comment as well. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. I'll catch you guys then.